we gonna have to be ready for um, sukkah, and we gonna have to be have a, a ready and a willing in a in a, in a man, a willing heart to be able to operate in warfare that's about to happen. Praise Yahuwah for um, Barak Yahuwah. Barak Yahuwah. Barak Yahuwah. For uh, serenity. Um, Sitting to read, daughter, man, that testimony they share. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what we know what we're down, hallelujah. hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Yahuwah gets all the credit. Yeah. So, man, Yahuwah is real. And, man, I'm telling you, it's right now, we going to have to make sure we are walking in truth. Uh, tell you, come lead us in our prayer. Everybody, for you, for Jerusalem. Amen. Our Father, who lives in heaven, for is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the esteem forever. Baruch atah Hashem Yahuwah. This is the name of Yahuwah, king of the universe. Forever. I'm on. Wow. We're back on Adam Shalishi. The Blood, Part 3. Man. I just be wanting, I want to get one of them old white pastors just to say, oh, the blood. It'll never lose its power. <laughs> power. Man, for it's the blood. Hey, they sing that song, bro. And, and see, they don't have the full understanding, though, but they know it's something to the blood. Even Christianity knew it's something about the blood. You do not have to plead the blood on nothing. You got that? You want to tell me? I know, but I want to reiterate. You do not have to plead the blood. There is no pleading of blood. The blood has already been shed since the foundation of the world, matter of fact. That's why when Yahushua was walking the earth, he could already forgive crime. Right, right. See? His blood didn't have to be shed to have the power that he had. Right. The blood was shed because he had to take on the curses of Adam's blood. Y'all following me? Man. This is about to go down, man. I'm trying to find the food. No, no, no. It'll never lose its power. It's uh -oh. power. Uh oh, that's right. 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 You got something to say, y'all? Oh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I found it. I guess you see there? The power of the blood, man. Let's go. Man, so much to cover on this right now. Yeah, we Man, I'll bring my... Shabbat Go to Abram or Hebrew. Out there in Facebook land. Shabbat Shalom. Love y'all. We're going to start at 8. But during this time, I want to go touch back and forth on the blood. The, if the blood never loses its power, this is why Yahushua had the power to heal any blood issue, too. Don't. Don't, this is one thing I don't want you to do. Don't call your crimes against you who are issues. You're making them light. 
Anytime you see issue in that book, it was something leaking from the body, mostly blood. That's book. So when the woman had the issue of blood, you see that? She didn't call her crime an issue. We do that. Oh, you know, Joe Osteen said it all the time. We all got issues in our lives. We all got issues in our lives. When they asked him, was homosexuality um, acceptable to, to who they call G? And was the homosexual going into heaven? He said, well, we all got issues. No, it don't work like that because you got to understand, the homosexual act produces blood. And that blood is received by the earth and you are cursed. That's book. You can't change that. There is no praying away the gay. Two bishops got married. Two female bishops in the Christian church just got married. And people are rejoicing over it. See what I'm saying? There is no getting out of that when you're whore. Unless you repent. So what I was talking about, when Yahushua, when the woman had the issue of blood, she had the issue of blood. When she touched him, he felt power leave him. He said, someone touched him. Kafah, this, this was fun. Everybody pressed in on you, and you felt somebody touch you. But why did it happen? His blood overpowers her blood. So the woman with the issue of blood, because his blood is completely pure and powerful. It trumps the issue of blood. Why didn't he turn to her and say, daughter, why are you not outside the camp like you're supposed to be? Right? She would have defiled him as well. That's book. But his blood covers that. And that's what we are about to go in. His blood covers the impurities of a person when it comes to physical issues. This is why people say, well, why your wife ain't on the couch? At night, she on her menstrual. Huh? Read. You don't understand the power of his blood. Because you think that Miriam and Yosef had a child, that's why you don't understand the power of Dom or the blood. That's Yahuwah's blood that flowed through his veins because he was Yahuwah in the flesh. We can prove that and we will. Again. I'm teaching the Hebrews later. Again. Again. <laughs> Over and over again. These are vital things in the foundation of a believer because if you don't understand this, nothing lines up. <coughs> you want to start first? Oh, I had that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let me go to 28 bird. Wait, 26 and 7. 7 and 26. Now I'm read on through. Wait. <laughs> Wait, let me go. I just want you to get this part and then we're going to 8. 27 and 24. Hebrews 7 and 24. <laughs> Pay attention to this, people. <laughs> but this man, because he continues forever. <laughs> man, a man can't continue forever, huh? If he's just a man, men die. Though dead. His sepulchre is with us to this day. This man continues ever. Has an unchangeable priesthood. Right. Ooh, hallelujah. Ooh. We're going to jump into that another whole time. We're going to take a whole time on that. But this is about the blood. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come to Allahim by him. By him. His priesthood is unchangeable. So he's able to save. Wait a second. They told Yahusha, this man blessed him. How can he say he has the power to forgive crimes? Because his priesthood is unchangeable. Aha. Uh -huh. It never changed. Wherefore, he's able to save them. Seeing he ever lives. Huh? Ever living means you're eternal. Huh? You can't be born of flesh, right? Why these Hebrews don't understand it? How many Hebrews don't watch Thundercats? When they say, Mom, the ever living. Well, you know you watch Thundercat. Ever living means eternal. But you were about, to. no, it ain't born with Thundercat without it. You know what I'm telling you? You watch it. Oh, man, team, woman, zooming. Woman, woman, zooming, age. 
You watch the Lil Wayne cartoon. <laughs> Lil Wayne cartoon. <laughs> Ever living means eternal. We understood that even then. Why can't you understand that now? He ever lives to make intercession for them. For such a high priest became us. Oh, oh. the high priest became us? But Yahuwah is the great high priest. With no mother, no father. But he became us. Why? Who is Kadesh? Harmless, undefiled, separate from criminals, and made higher than the heavens. Separate from the criminals. Boy. Who needs not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice? First for his own crimes, then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. For the Torah makes men high priests who have infirmity. Louis, Levi, the brother. Louis? The brother has infirmities. Al Haran had infirmities. Nadab and Abayu had infirmities. They were men with the blood of Adam. Right. Their blood was polluted. So the Torah had no weakness in it. But because of Torah, it made the weak man a priesthood. The Torah wasn't flawed. The man was flawed. Yahuwah knew this. So what do I do? I'm going to come down as the high priest, become like you, show you how to walk it completely out, Shed my blood for you, then put it right back in the proper place that it should be. But the word of the oath, which was since the Torah, makes the summon who is consecrated evermore. But the Torah, woo, wait, 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 go back. But the word of the oath, what oath? This is my son. <laughs> this day. I have forgotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you a heathen for your inheritance. See the oath? He can't take that word back. It, it, it's got to happen. It's got to operate. So that Torah makes the son who is consecrated forevermore. Now, now, look at it. Start off now, don't it? Eight. We ready for it now. <laughs> now. Of all these things we have spoken of is the psalm. Now he done gave you all kind of formulas in here. A bunch of Hebraic idioms, understanding. Now let's see the sum of all this. Why did he talk like this in Hebrews? We have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty of the heavens. He ain't sitting beside him. No. He sits on the right hand. He is his right hand. He is the right hand. Do you? Make that clear. Power. The power. Make that clear. Huh? He is, he is that. So it ain't one, two. <laughs> no, it's one. One, two, three. Shama, Yasharal, Yahuwah, Alahendu, Yahuwah, Akkad. Here in God, O Israel, Yahuwah, your Alahim, Yahuwah is one. He will not give his esteem or glory to any man, anyone, any idol. So where did this man get all this esteem from? Aha, it's Yahuwah. Secret things, parables are for the unbeliever. Yeah. The truth right. is for the believer, right. the righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> A ministry of the sanctuary, the true tabernacle, which Yahuwah pitched uh -oh. and not man. Uh -oh. This is the tent. Built not by man. Right. It's not genetically modified, people. None GMO. The true tabernacle. The first tabernacle, he said, was just a pattern. Man, I, I, it's in here. It's in here. It's in there, man. All right, I can't go down. I'm excited. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Uh -huh. Wherefore, it is of necess necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. Read it again. <laughs> For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifice him. Wherefore, it is necessary that this man have someone also to offer. He's an unchangeable priesthood. So he couldn't come to the to earth as a priest and then not have nothing to offer. Come on. Prepare me a body. I, woo I offer up my body. Man, come on. 
Let's, let's talk about this blood. <coughs> Watch this. <coughs> For if you were on earth, he should not be a priest. Seeing that there are priests that offer according to the Torah. What does that mean? Le Levi was the priesthood. He made the word say the Levite was the priesthood. So how in the world would he come and then destroy the Levitical priesthood? He had to come through Yehuda of no priest was spoken of because he's an unchangeable priest. Yeah, right. I was the priest before Levi was. Right. I didn't change anything. I'm setting it straight. Boy, come on. <laughs> Seeing that there are priests to offer gifts according to Torah who serve as unto an example and shadow of heavenly things. So the priest, Levitical priesthood, was made as a shadow for Yahuwah being a priest in the Shemayim. Right. So I, I tell you men to be a shadow of me being your high priest. Right in the book. As Masha, who was a monish of Yahuwah, when he was about to make the tabernacle, for see, he says, that you make all things according to the pattern. Mm. Everybody say pattern. pattern. It's a pattern. Everything we see. Huh? Oh, wait. But there was a lamb up there slain since the foundation of the world in that pattern there. Who is that? But these Torah people say that there's, there's no, there's no even no inkling of the Mashiach in this book. But it had to be. Because there's a pattern. Showed to you in the mount. But now you have obtained, now he has obtained a more excellent ministry. By much, he also is the mediator of a better covenant. That has nothing to do with doing away with Torah. That's saying the Levitical priesthood had infirmities. They were weak men. They died. And because they died, I come as an eternal being, as an eternal high priest, to make a better covenant than they. I'm, about to say that, huh? I'm sorry. I'm getting excited. <laughs> Which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, didn't say the Torah was faultless, no. without fault. No. If the first covenant had been faultless, what makes the first covenant faultless? They didn't keep their word. Watch this. Then it should no place be sought for the second. Here we go. For finding fault with them. Yeah, right. Underline it. Circle it. Highlight it. Don't tear it out. That's good. For finding fault with them. Not it. Not it. Not the Torah. Not him. Not his promise. Not his covenant. Because he keeps his word. Finding fault with them. You see that. He says, Behold the days come, says Yahuwah, when I will make a barit hasha, a renewed covenant. Not a new testament. I will renew the covenant because you didn't do right. Right. You didn't do right. Man, come on. This is going to be good stuff, man. Says Yahuwah, I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Yasharal and with the house of Yahuwah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Right. In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Mizraim. Because they, they, underline it, circle it, highlight it. Don't tear it out. Don't tear it out. <laughs> it's right there. This good stuff. They, they continue not in my covenant. Wow. This is why blood had to be shed from the most high himself. Can your whore do all things? Yes, he can. If he can't lie, he said he bring a promise and a covenant. Every covenant is done in blood. Show me one in this book that's not done in blood. Cut covenant. Abraham walked through the pieces. I think it's Barashita Genesis 15. He walked through the pieces of blood and made a cut covenant with your whore. Every covenant in this book, even circumcision, is blood covenant. So you tell me that since this is a pattern from the Shemayim, that Yahuwah didn't have a blood covenant ready? With a lamb that was a man slain since the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was ready for you because he knew he made something that had free will to fall. So I already read it. If that goes down, I got my own blood reserved for it. Boy. 
<laughs> he took them by the hand, didn't he? <laughs> Continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not. He didn't pay attention to them. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Says Yahuwah. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Yasharal. This is Yahweh 31, by the way. You can read it on your own time. Of Yasharal after those days, saying, I will put my Torah into their mind. And write it in their hearts. Right there. This is not happening right now. Because if it. it's the Torah is in your mind and written on your heart, you will not be eating pork. You don't need to eat. You won't be doing that. You don't need to eat. No it's on my mind, it's on my heart. Let's, let's get to so I just do what I want to do. Mm. That's what they say now. We better get to understanding of what this means, right? Here, people. If the Torah, I will put the Torah, my Torah. That was Jeremiah Torah, 31. Jeremiah Torah 31. Torah on end. Torah on end, right? It's spiritual. It's eternal. Into their minds and write it in their heart. heart or inner man. <coughs> I will be their Allahim. And they shall be to be a people. Now this is why you know it hasn't happened yet. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Wait a second. He told us to teach all nations. That includes a neighbor, right? So if this is end time prophecy And he says At this time when I make a renewed covenant with you I will not have you teach your neighbors Why? why? Let's find out why <coughs> And every man his brother Saying No art Yahuwah For all All Underline it Circle it right. Highlight it right. Don't tear it out I like this All will know me from the least to the greatest. How are we even wasting our time witnessing if the, the renewed covenant, the Barit Hadashah, has already happened? Right. Huh? Because right. he told us to teach our nations to obey, right? right? If this has happened, then something is wrong. This is what you miss. When he was on the execution stake, when he was on the tree, he said, it is finished. Christians, stop right there. Oh, oh, he done did it all. <laughs> they stop. Then why do you see it is finished again in Revelations? He did not establish the bridge how to shot there. He needed to shed his blood for those who walk in the cut covenant to fulfill it in the afterlife or the time to come. It finished. What did he do? To destroy the works of Hashatan. That's first Yahuwah, the first John. He shed his blood to destroy the works. What does that mean? Now, I shed my blood to give you power to obey. Huh? It wasn't over with yet. If he had destroyed sin completely or crime completely, you wouldn't be struggling with stuff. The blood was shed to give you power to overcome the enemy that deceived your father Adam. Huh? In through the power of Teshuva, or in Aubrey, sorry, repentance. Because watch this, Hashitan don't know how to repent. Yo, know, what gave this to me the other day, like to knock me out. We say he can't go back to the Shemayim. We say he failed and he can't repent. He hates mankind because he can't repent. We say it. We heard it in Christianity. He can't repent. We can. But watch what, what we miss. Because he can't repent. Because he can't repent. He has no understanding of what repentance is. That's right. Since he can't repent, he doesn't understand the fact that you can have power now through the blood and those very temptations that come up again, you have been strengthened by the Ruach to overcome them. He gonna keep coming at you. Because he don't understand repentance. Hallelujah. Boy, boy, boy. So what happened on that tree? On that tree, his blood was shed to empower you to keep the covenant that your father couldn't keep. It allowed the water and the blood, that's John, to bear witness of this. The Ruach giving you strength. Huh? Let's, let's keep going, man. I'm going to show you. For I will be merciful to the unrighteous, to the unrighteousness, and
and their crimes and toilless deeds I will remember no more. It's in time. I'll be merciful to the unrighteous. Why? Because they have a chance to repent. The Marie Hadashah is a promise of a covenant to come. He has established something. Watch this. When you cut the covenant, watch this. Man, come on. It says Abraham and Yahuwah both passed through the court, the cut pieces. Huh? Boy, so listen. When Yahuwah returns as Yahusha, he's going to allow you to pass through the pieces. Man, what? They pass through together, huh? Until you pass through, you will struggle with unrighteousness and crime in this world. But the covenant of blood will be will be completed. That's why he calls it a marriage. Right. The vow, you already belong to him. See that? That's why sex ain't marriage. You already made the vow. You are already betrothed to him. But when he comes through, the blood is the token for the promise on the right road. That's why he rides down dripping in blood on his road. If you don't believe me, you, you or y'all shot this. Don't even just, just log off right now. This ain't for you. <coughs> In that he says, a renewed covenant has he made the first old. Now that which decays and wax old, watch this, is ready to vanish away. Meaning, it ain't done yet. No. See? It ain't done. It's ready to vanish away. There will be a new heaven and a new earth. Right. I can't keep a renewed covenant with the same old heaven and old earth. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Adam returns. There will be a baptism. There will be a renewed and a restored situation. And then no more will the wicked man persecute the righteous. No more, because his blood was shed to set a covenant that's about to happen. Y'all feel it? Oh, no. Go ahead. Uh, now that was the now. Now it's the then. Come on. Chapter nine. Then, then. Come on. Verily, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service Come on. and a worldly sanctuary. First covenant, mm. right? But there was a tabernacle made, the first. Wherein was the menorah? Underline the menorah. Circle it. Circle it. Highlight it. Don't tear it out. The menorah represents Yahweh shop. Right. And the table <laughs> and the showbread. Underline the showbread. Which is called the sanctuary. Come on, uh. And after the second meal, the tabernacle, which is called the Kadesh of all, mm -hmm. which had the golden silver. And the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, mm -hmm. wherein was the golden pot that had manna, Come on. Aaron's book rod that budded, okay. and the sapphires of the covenant. Come on. The, the Ten Commandments, they call. Can y'all say where y'all are at again? We're in uh, Hebrews 9. Yeah. This is uh, verse 5. That's right. And over it the cherubim of glory, oh, sorry, shall in the, the mercy seat. Of which we cannot now speak particularly. There was two carabin put in front of Eden or paradise to block it, and a sword went each way. We read that. There was a flaming sword. Why do you think there's carabin facing each other on the mercy seat? It's to put you back in paradise. When the blood was shed, it was on the mercy seat, your whole was visited. It was a representation of what was there that they lost. Man, come on, man. Come on. Now, when these things were thus ordained, the priests went also into the first tabernacle. That's right. Accomplishing the service of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. But in the second, with the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood. He couldn't go in there without blood. He couldn't go out there without no blood. That's why that rope was on his leg. Dang that. Stop dang when I pull you out. Them palm granite and the rail stop. They got to drag that boy out of there. You cannot that. go in there without blood. Blood is needed for any covenant. Any right. covenant. Right. 
which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Let's pay attention to that. The rule of Akadesh then signified that the way into the Kadesh of all was not yet made manifest. Who existed back then? Yes. The Ruach said it did. Yeah, the Ruach. The Ruach of Akadesh then signified that the way into the Kadesh of all was not yet made manifest while as the first tabernacle was yet standing. Ah, ah, Woo. Ain't that something? It was not even made manifest, made manifest yet. yet. Come on. Here we go. Which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both <coughs> gifts and sacrifices right. that could not make him that did the service perfect nope. wow. as pertaining to the country. The inner being. Inner being. The inner being could not be made perfect. It was just atonement. The, ter the term atonement, kaparim, just means to cover you for a time, right. to be acceptable, just, just for that period of time. Right. That's why Shaul in Romans 12 says, I beseech ye, brothers, as the oracles of Yahuwah, to present your body living sacrifices. Kodesh and acceptable unto your war, which is your reasonable service. They couldn't continue to be like that, but they had to always do it. It wasn't cleaning the inner man. It was only covering them as it did Adam and Hawa. It was the animal skin. They were still criminals, but they had to cover themselves in blood. Come on. Teeth, man. Teeth. Verse 10. We stood only in meat and drink, and diverse washings, and carnal ordinances, fleshly, fleshly. That's it. imposed on them unto the time of restoration. But Hamashiach being come a high priest of good things to come, look at that, mm, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, uh -huh. not made with hands, <laughs> that is to say, not of this building, Neither by the blood of goats and calves. One good enough. One good enough. But by his own blood, he entered in once into the Kadesh place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. If he is a if he is a human, like they say, right. produce of Yosa right. and Mary, or Joseph and Mary, right. how can he only do this once when other righteous men in the Levitical priesthood could have to do it continually? Right. Huh? Because everybody was an unrighteous. Zechariah and Elizabeth were blameless, right. they say. Right. So how could his blood only do it once? He did not have the blood of the curse. Could have. He had the blood of the promise. Right. Or oh, he wouldn't have been a reasonable sacrifice. Come on. For the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heap of sprinkling the unclean sanctifies to the purifying of the flesh. Come on. How much more shall the blood of Amashiach, who through the eternal Ruach offered himself without spot to At Yahuwah, purge your conscience from dead works? Dead works. Dead works. To serve the living Yah. Come on. And for this cause, he is the mediator of a renewed covenant that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first covenant, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal life. Might ahead. receive, Christian. You're not saved yet. You might receive it. Might. might. You might receive this. You're not saved. You quit get saved all on your billboards. You're not saved yet. You might receive it. Why? Because he's a mediator for the Greek Hadashah, for the renewed covenant. He is going to bring you to that. That's why he's coming again. Right. It's right here in the book. Yep. His blood was shed to purge your conscience of dead works. Why? That old man has to die so you can live. Yahuwah is the Elohim of the living, not the dead. Right. So we can't be operating still in dead works. That's right. Okay. For we are tip this verse 16. For what a testament is, that must also of necessity be the death of the testament. Look at that. See that? Mm. For a testament, testament is a force after men are dead, 
Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Come on. Whereupon neither the first covenant was dedicated without blood. You cannot dedicate a covenant without blood. It ain't going to happen. So Hebrews who don't believe in the Mashiach, where are your sacrifices? Where's your blood? Where the at, though? Where the at? You don't believe in you don't believe in the New Testament, you say. Where's your blood sacrifice? Right. Don't you suffer the salt with your oblation in meats? Well, that's a hard lyric. That boy spit. Verse 19. For when Masha had spoken every precept to all 